Right, so now you need to do a bit on the circulatory system for additional signs B2. Okay, so the main thing you need to know about the circulatory system is that it is an organ system. It consists of the heart and all the blood vessels um, that take blood to and from the heart, and that's it. Okay, but you need to know the different types of blood vessels. Okay, so there are the arteries, the veins, and the capillaries. Okay, and different, and they have different features due to their different jobs. Now, what is the job of arteries? The job of arteries is to take blood away from the heart to other places in your body. Okay, and what's the job of the veins? The job of the veins is to bring blood from the different parts of the body to your heart. Okay, easy enough. So what's the job of the capillaries? The job of the capillaries is the capillaries are not very big at all. They're really, really tiny tiny blood vessels next to your skin and all around your body all through your fat and everywhere they're so small that you can hardly see them they're sometimes they're one cell thick for example when you get hot after you've done exercise or just because you're hot in general you might go red in your face and the reason you've gone red is because there's tiny little blood vessels next to your skin that you can't actually even see because they're so small in your skin and they fill up with blood and all you can see is that it's gone red because they're so small you can't see the actual vessels but you can see the redness okay so that's capillaries and their job is to kind of go inside your tissues and uh, mesh there so that tiny bits of food and your oxygen and the substances that you need and you don't need can pass between your organ and in and out of your blood so it's the capillaries that they do that because food and oxygen couldn't pass through the walls of things like veins and arteries that have really thick walls because they'd be too thick to do that. But they can pass through the wall of a capillary. So blood can go through a capillary, the oxygen in the blood can go through the capillary's wall and enter your, I don't know, wherever you need it, your muscle cells. Okay, and then the carbon dioxide that the muscle cells made when they did respiration could go back through the wall of the very, very thin capillary, get to the blood, and the blood can go back to the lungs then. Obviously, if there was just a big thick vein in your muscle, it's got way too thick a wall for oxygen and carbon dioxide to keep going in and out if from the blood, okay, to the muscle. Right. So, depending on those different jobs of the blood vessels, the arteries, the veins and the capillaries, they all have different structures and uh, characteristics that let them do that job. Okay, so now for the structures of the different blood vessels. Okay, so all blood vessels have a very long, thin tube structure, as you probably know. Uh, a bit like hose pipes, except capillaries, which probably like very, very tiny little hose pipes that you can barely see. Okay, so arteries first. Arteries have very thick walls, and the reason for this is that the job of arteries is to carry that blood that's been oxygenated from your heart to the whole rest of your body. That's including your extremities, which means the ends of your fingers and the ends of your toes. If that blood has got to get from your heart all that way there, then it's got to be squeezed very well, um, very strongly, and it's got to be under a very high pressure. And that means that uh, the artery walls have got to be very thick to be able to be put to be able to put this blood under a high pressure and make sure it whooshes out right to the ends of your fingers and your toes. Okay, so that's arteries. Okay, and next is veins. Veins carry the deoxygenated blood from the whole rest of your body back to your heart to get oxygenated again. Okay, so that blood, it has gone all the way around the body, it's deposited all its oxygen, um, given it to all the tissues that need it, and now it needs to go back to the heart to get some more oxygen. And this blood, because it's not just been whooshed out from the heart, is travelling at a very low pressure and quite slowly as well. So the insides of veins have very large passages that allows this blood to go very slowly under low pressure and come all the way back to the heart slowly because it's not being whooshed and pushed out from anywhere. It's just going very slowly back. So veins have large passages inside them. Okay, now... The feature about capillaries is that, I've done this one already, but they have very thin walls because the job of capillaries is to allow substances in and out of the blood, whether that's oxygen out of the blood to the tissues, carbon dioxide from the tissues back into the blood, 
or food substances from the stomach into the blood and out of the blood into the tissues wherever they're needed. So, the, And a lot of other substances pass across capillaries as well in and out of the blood, whatever needs to pass. So the job of the capillaries is to allow this to happen. So their walls must be very, very thin and often they're one cell thick. 